you thought Bill Clinton should be, imp should be impeached? Yes. I would, I would have voted to convict him and remove him from office. Right. You thought since Mueller that Trump should be impeached and removed from office? Yes, at least since then. Right, and so in our polarized times, there are many, many people who thought Bill Clinton should be impeached and thrown out of office, and there are many who think that Donald Trump should be impeached and thrown out of office. The overlap in that Venn diagram is not large. It is, it is indeed a very small sliver of the world. I have been a conservative much of my life because I believed in things like intellectual honesty or consistency. For me, if you have a position and you come to it for a reason, right, then, then the right thing to do is to stick with it. Of all the people who have disappointed me in, in this are the Republicans who were all four square for impeaching Bill Clinton right. and now won't walk the walk and talk the talk for Trump. It's now, I mean, the Sondland testimony yesterday made something clear. Sondland, who is a donor to Donald yes. Trump, a big donor, he essentially puts Trump in the middle of the whole thing. The other really significant thing about Sondland's testimony is that he was the first that I know of a uh, true Trump loyalist who abandoned ship. Uh, and, and so that's kind of significant. And if he's the first of many, then the walls crumble. Has Trump's position appreciably worsened in the last five days? Well, I'd answer it this way. Impeachment and trial, though they are bounded by law, are fundamentally political questions in which the views of the American public, really, are expressed through their representatives and senators, and we try, try and reach a result. We're at that moment where either we're going to take that turn back upwards and Trump will survive, or Trump will, Trump's popularity will continue its descent down that way. The question is, is there a way in which Trump, by doing all of this in plain sight, and basically be like, obviously it's not wrong because I'm telling you about it. Is there a way where that could be the thing that saves him? Yes between the openness of what he does and the way in which he's become almost a superhero to his base, which makes the, I can't be wrong if I'm doing it in the open, more saleable. Um, if he survives, it'll be because 35% of the American populace, 90% of what's left of the Republican Party stand by him. Yeah. Nixon clearly lost the sympathy of of the general populace, and that's when he wound up going. Clinton managed to convince people that lying about sex was not important, and, and the American people wanted to say, not enough. And, you know, one of the things that I think people don't really understand is that each of these impeachments sets a, a norm for the next one. I mean, we now know that lying about sex is not a removable offense. Right. So nobody will ever try it again. If it really turns out to be the case that holding up foreign aid for dirt on your political opponent is not a removable offense, we're going to be in a place where the foreign policy of the United States is going to look very different in the future, and our moral standing in the world is going to be very different yeah. in the future. Mere, mere anarchy is loosed upon the world.